So guys, so we're gonna change the differential on my 2016 cross track. Um, what's unique is that we got the prim primitive racing skid plate. Okay. It's gonna be a little bit of a challenge. But we'll see how it goes. So what you're gonna need is a drain pan. Some oil, one quart, uh, extension to clear the skid plate and probably the subframe. 10 millimeter Allen, three eighths ratchet, and some brake parts cleaner to clean up the mess. Well, probably some rags too. Let's get to it. It's okay to jack it up from the skid plate because it's attached to the diff. It should be strong enough to lift the car, so. So what you want to do is remove the fill plug first, in case, uh, well if you remove the drain and then you can't get the fill plug out, and you're kind of screwed, you can't really drive the car. So remove the fill, or break loose the fill plug first, and then the drain. So let's do that. I broke them loose already, so a lot of force, but as you can see, if I didn't have the extension, it'd be hitting the subframe. So, yeah. Pretty dirty. Crush washer was stuck on there. So. Careful with that. And now um, the diff, the drain. Um, when it drains, it's gonna hit the skid plate, and it's actually gonna drain into the skid plate. So that's why there's these holes. So eventually, it'll 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 flow out, and then it'll it'll get stuck in here. So that's what the brake cleaner is for. Get ready. And let's go. See what I mean? So that's how it drains. It's not the nicest thing, but we have to change the diff fluid. Oh. I'll make sure your gas skip isn't stuck. You can see drink bug's kind of dirty. I'll let this drain. So this is my drain plug after 60,000 miles. It's pretty gross. All you have to do is uh, wipe it off. as much off. See all that? That's all from the diff. Like the metal shavings and stuff. Uh, if you want to get this more clean, just hit it with some brake cleaner. And that's clean. This is the fill plug. You can see there's no magnet. It's pretty dirty. Let me clean that too. So, you want to 
clean the area it's draining. Make sure your gasket is not stuck on there. And what you're gonna do is uh, put your new gasket on and put your drain plug, clean drain plug back in. Hand tighten it so you don't strip the threads just in case and then you torque it down you want it to 36 foot pounds so let's go ahead and do that there you go now you want to get your gear oil new gear oil and just pump it in or if you don't have a pump use what use this method so it takes 0.8 quarts point yeah point eight so less than a quart so just do it till it starts spilling out so you want to keep your drain pan under here still because it's still gonna drip um, these bags are good for uh, off-roading, so if your diff leaks or something happens, uh, you don't need a pump, you just use the bag to fill in your diff. So it's like way easier. All you do is crush the bag to shove the gear oil in. Should almost take the whole thing. I would just do the whole thing. And I have your uh, fill plug ready, so when it's it's way easier than using a pump, you just use the bottle or the bag, and shove it in there. Almost there. You can do this. Since the bag is more really maneuverable, you could just get in some crazy angles. Shove the gear oil in there. You know, just imagine you're in, in the, on the trail and you put gear oil. These bags are great. Okay. That's, that's pretty much one. It's definitely spilling out. your fill plug back in. The gas kits. Alright. Let's double check work. Nope, not leaking. Good. Now clean it with brake cleaner. Just kind of want to get in there because how a gear oil is under this pan or between the pan and the diff. We just want to clean it. Away. It's definitely more challenging with with this on here, but you know, it's an even more pain in the butt to like remove this and then change it and then put it back because you have to move the diff. So, might as well just do a little bit of cleanup and you should be good. That's how you change your differential oil. Just take it for a spin 
and then check for leaks again. Um, if you have a leak, I don't know what to tell you. You shouldn't have a leak, it's pretty easy. <laughs> Alright, peace.